Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this angle uh, BAC is uh, 36 uh, degrees, whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, AB is equal to this side length uh, AC. And now our task is uh, to show that this uh, given uh, isosceles uh, triangle is uh, a golden uh, triangle. In other words, we are going to show that the ratio of this side length uh, AB and uh, BC equals to 5. And likewise, the ratio of AC and BC is uh, 5 as well, where this uh, 5 is called the golden uh, ratio. And it is always equal to 1 plus uh, square root of 5 uh, divided by 2. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed, let's go over the golden uh, triangle. The golden triangle is an isosceles uh, triangle whose apex angle is uh, 36 uh, degrees, as you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram. And here we can see that this uh, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, AB equal to this side length uh, AC. And this uh, top angle uh, BAC is uh, 36 uh, degrees. And now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. If I call this uh, angle uh, X, then this angle is going to be X uh, as well, since we are dealing with this uh, isosceles uh, triangle. Then the sum of these uh, three interior angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees. Let me go ahead and write down angle X plus angle X plus uh, 36 degrees equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, our angle X turns out to be 70 degrees so no wonder our this angle is 72 degrees and this angle is 72 degrees as well so thus this given uh, isosceles uh, triangle is a uh, 36 degrees uh, 72 degrees and uh, 72 degrees and now let's go ahead and draw some uh, auxiliary lines and here I have drawn uh, an angle bisector BP of this uh, angle uh, ABC where P is the point uh, on this side uh, AC. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, has got to be equal to this uh, angle. And since this whole angle is 72 degrees, so therefore, uh, this uh, is going to be 36 uh, degrees. And likewise, this angle is going to be 36 degrees uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABP. We can see that this uh, angle is equal to this uh, angle so therefore this is an isosceles uh, triangle so therefore we can see that this uh, side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length let's assume that this uh, side length uh, a p is uh, one unit for the sake of uh, simplicity then this uh, side length uh, b p is going to be one unit uh, as well and likewise, since uh, this uh, angle is 36 degrees, so in this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC, this uh, side length uh, BC is going to be one unit uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's assume that this uh, segment uh, PC is uh, X uh, units. Then this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AC is going to be X uh, plus 1. So let me write down this side length uh, is going to be x uh, plus 1. And now we know that this uh, side length uh, AC equal to this side length uh, AB. So therefore, uh, this uh, side length uh, AB is going to be x uh, plus 1 uh, as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BCP. We know that this angle uh, is uh, 36 uh, degrees. This angle is uh, 72 degrees so therefore uh, this angle has got to be 72 degrees uh, as well since the sum of these three angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore we can see that this uh, triangle uh, bcp is uh, 36 uh, 72 72 triangle as well 
So therefore we conclude that this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC is uh, similar to this uh, smaller triangle uh, BCP according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words I can write uh, x uh, plus 1 divided by 1 is going to be equal to 1 divided by x. Let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus x uh, equals to 1. Let's move this one on the other side. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, x uh, minus uh, 1 equal to 0. And here we got a quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula. And here is our quadratic formula that we will be using. And here we can see our coefficient for x square a equals to 1, b equals to 1 and constant c equals to negative 1. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. x equal to minus b is 1 plus minus square root of b is 1 whole square minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 1 all over 2 times a is 1. And if we simplify everything, our x uh, turns out to be negative 1 plus or minus uh, square root of 5 all over 2. And now let's go ahead and split these uh, positive and negative uh, signs. And here we got uh, two values of x, x equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And the other value of x uh, is uh, negative 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And now we can see that this value of x uh, is invalid since uh, this is going to give us a negative value. And since we are dealing with the side length uh, x, so this is not possible. So therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value of x and we are going to accept uh, x equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So therefore here is our uh, x value. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, a, b is uh, x uh, plus 1. So therefore let's go ahead and calculate the value of x uh, plus 1. So we know our x value is this one. Let me write down negative 1 plus uh, square root of 5 all over 2 and then uh, plus 1. And in this uh, next step I have tweaked this uh, 1. 1 could be written as 2 divided by 2 to make sure we have the same uh, common denominator. So therefore our x plus 1 value turns out to be 1 plus uh, square root of 5 uh, divided by 2. And we know that our uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 could be written as uh, simply the golden ratio phi. So therefore our this uh, x plus 1 value turns out to be 5. In other words we can see over here uh, this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 5. And since uh, this uh, a b length uh, is equal to this uh, a c length, so therefore uh, this a c length has got to be phi as well. So therefore we can see that our a b length uh, is uh, phi, our a c length uh, is uh, phi as well, and our uh, this uh, b c length uh, is uh, 1 as you can see over here. So therefore our uh, AB to BC ratio is going to be phi divided by 1 and that is going to be equal to simply phi. And likewise our ratio AC to BC is going to be phi as well since AC equals to phi and BC is 1. So thus we conclude that this uh, given uh, triangle uh, ABC is indeed uh, a golden uh, triangle. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.